How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I am going to be giving my thoughts on the Flash season four. Let's talk about it. Worst season of the Flash. Yeah, worst season. It fell into the Arrow trap, everyone. And if you don't know what the Arrow trap is, it's season three is. Ugh. Season four is. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's what the Flash, what happened to the Flash. Uh, season 3 looks great compared to this season, I will say that. And honestly, looking back on Season 3, like, it's it's pretty bad that this season makes Season 3 look so great. Because Season 3, I'm looking back on it now, and I'm like, damn, that season was pretty damn good compared to this one. Um, so yeah, it definitely fell into the arrow trap. And season four, I don't know if it's awful, but it's, it has few redeeming qualities, very few, and it's just bad. Um, yeah, so I think I want to just kind of talk about the thinker and the villain idea for a second. It was very cool that they were trying to go for a new vibe this season and not have it be another speedster villain. That was really cool, and I applaud the writers for that. But they executed it very poorly, and they didn't even do the iconic scene with um, Barry going, I'm thinking. Like, oh, anyone else wanted that scene, or is it just me? Because I know a lot of other people, you know, have read the Flash comics, and I'm sure they know about that scene. So, you know. Um, Marlise was cool, though. She was a nice addition. Towards the end, uh, for the first, you know, um, well... Basically, until she started working with Team Flash, was only until the last couple episodes of the season. Uh, she was just kind of interesting, and and there was a bunch of theories. There's a bunch of theories going on with the speed, uh, the speed force uh, symbols, and you know the premiere, how that set up, uh, pretty much the whole season going into the finale. Um, hmm, you know that they, they, they weren't that big of a deal, to be honest with you. Uh, going into season five, there is more stuff that I, I think from season four spills over into season five, uh, in my opinion. Uh, kind of similar to Arrow, because uh, we know in Arrow, Ricardo Diaz didn't die, and he's going to be kind of spilling over just a bit into season seven. Um, so I kind of got some vibes here with uh, season four of The Flash, and they said there'd be no defeating the big bad this season. Um... Okay, unless the thinker returns somehow, uh, looks to me that he's dead, or gone, or something, you know, uh, because Ralph's back, and I want to talk about Ralph now, going into Ralph, uh, I think Ralph was, uh, uh, a great addition to the season, honestly, I really do, and them killing him off, I was like, oh, that's, that's, no, um, and this is different with the Jughead death, and I know what I said in my Riverdale video, I said, well, you know, it's a fake out death and Jughead's death uh death added nothing to the story. And I, I still stand by that hundred percent. Um but this death in particular, because they waited out a couple episodes in between from episode eighteen to twenty three, uh there was some time to breathe about Ralph's death. While it wasn't a bunch of episodes in between there, it still allowed us to kind of like process his death and then kind of see what was working after that, um and what would come from his death. Uh, if that makes any sense. So, uh, bringing him back, though, was very, very smart, I think, because Ralph's a great character, and I, it would not make sense to kill him off, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, like I said, the Thinker, it's Ralph. Like, Ralph's back. Like, that was the only host body he had. His mind's just, like, gone. You know what I mean? Like, his his mind's gone. I don't... I don't know what you mean about when, when uh, there's no defeating the Big Bad this season, because it looks to me that you did. Um... See, I kind of want to talk about Nora Allen uh, just real quick. Nora 
uh, they've been setting her up ever since the crossover um, that it, you know, through the story and um, through the season. And they said it was Nora Allen, and I understand that does make sense with Barry's mom and all that because his mom's name is Nora. But I wanted her to be Dawn so bad, just because, you know, the comics. I, I want it to be comic accurate, okay? I mean, they've already changed enough shit, to be honest with you. Um, so, I would like uh, it to have been Dawn. Um, though, uh, we don't know if she has a twin yet. And that was a, um, a thing that was brought up to me. Uh, so, she could have potentially another twin still. Hopefully, that'll leak over into Season 5. Um, but that's not a Season 5 video. I'll probably make one, to be honest with you, um, sometime down the line. Um, which is soon, because... These seasons, they're already talking about, like, new shit that's gonna happen in the next season. And, like, it just ended. I need a break, to be honest with you, from the Arrowverse shows. I need a break. Supergirl's almost ending. I think it only has, like, three episodes left. Um, so that's almost over. Um, I need a break from the Arrowverse shows because, uh, I've never watched them live like this while they- I've always just caught up with them on Netflix and I was kind of like, Oh, if that was a bad episode, oh well, you know, I was just like, eh. So, but I need a break. I mean, there's just so many of them, and there's just, like, mm, I need a break for sure. I need a break. A solid, like, three months break, to be honest with you. Um, I'm excited to see what they do, but, you know, um, yeah. I think another thing I want to talk about is the comedy and the relationships in this season because they said this season would be a lot lighter tone from season three and that's also another reason why season three I cherish that season to this season because uh it was a darker tone and I like the darker tone I, I don't like the light-hearted shit so I like Arrow that's why I like Batman that's you know uh, that's why I like Daredevil uh superheroes like that I like the really kind of darker toned ones um and Flash more of a lighthearted villain. Yes, he can have his dark moments. Of course, there are dark moments in the comics, but uh, it's nothing that compares to Batman or anything like that. Um, so it was a lot lighter tone this season. Did not like it, um, especially the earlier episodes in the first half, like the first one, two, three, four, five. Those uh, oh, girls' night out ooh, ooh, reminds me of Amunet, uh, a blacksmith, which is an awful character that they introduced this season. Uh, I think it was, like, one of the only rogues we haven't seen from the Flash's rogue gallery, which was cool to see her, I'm not gonna lie, but, Jesus Christ, oh my god, she was awful. Hello, Katie. Oh, Jesus. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It, it was just, no. Um, so, going back to the lighter tone, hated it, uh, it wasn't funny, the jokes were falling flat on its face, um, yeah. So, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the relationships this season, oh, man, um, I hated Iris this season. I haven't really liked her, you know, in a while. But I, I don't like her. Uh, she was definitely a big issue with the season I had. Um, just everything surrounding Barry and Iris's relationship and then the wedding. And it kind of, it, it, it definitely bothered me. Um, I just, because I, I don't like them. I, well, I like Barry, but, you know, it just, it doesn't, it's nothing there. Nothing there. I understand that's what it's like in the comics, uh, Iris is, uh, Barry's wife and all that, but it just wasn't working for me. And I don't know how else to explain it, other than I don't like the character, and I think that she's pointless, doesn't need to be on Team Flash, uh, want her to be a journalist again. And they kind of covered that a little bit towards the end of season, uh, four, but very little, very, very little. I think now's the time where I just kind of go over all this season because really there's some characters here and there like Cecile who was definitely an awful addition to the season I mean she was there before season four but uh she wasn't there like a lot especially the end of the season she got Jesus Christ annoying as hell um but I think I'm just gonna talk about the season as a whole give my ranking out of 10 and uh yeah so basically this season as I said, was bad. It was. Uh, <laughs> um, compared to season three, it's just, it's still bad. Um, and if I had to give this a ranking out of ten, I think I'd give it a solid five out of ten, I think. It doesn't deserve lower than a five, because it's like a 50%. It's below average already, so um, I don't think it deserves more than that or less than that. Um, 
because it's already below average. It's a below average season for The Flash compared to seasons 1, 2, and even 3, because I'll give season 3 a 7 out of 10 now. Um, so, yeah. Though, that means season 5 is going to be awesome. Remember? Remember? Because the Arrow Season 5. You know? And in my opinion, actually, The Flash has followed the exact formula of Arrow, if that makes any sense. Because Season 1, I really enjoyed. And I also enjoyed Season 1 of Arrow. But I thought Season 2, and a lot of people think Season 2 of Arrow is better than Season 1. But me, personally, this is a little bit of an unpopular opinion. Season 2 is better than Season 1 of The Flash. Just, I love Season 2 so much. Uh, don't get me wrong. Love the reverse Flash. Um, but Season 2 as a whole, just, wow. Uh, there's so many good parts and moments and episodes in that season um and then yeah so it's kind of already followed the arrow formula and then season three was eh, season four was uh and then season five we're gonna get a badass season five and then a mediocre you know kind of mass season six and then uh well we don't know um but yeah um also if the villain cicada is or however the hell you say his name i've never heard of him until now is season five's villain uh i'm gonna be pissed that's all I'll say. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below of this season. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to say it wasn't the best because I don't. I haven't really seen too many people say that this is a great or awesome season. If you say it's a good season, okay, but you, I, I bet some money, pennies, nothing at all, that uh, you'll say this is probably the worst season if you had to say. Uh, it's probably the worst season out of the entire series. Not. Nah, yeah, out of the entire series. Um, but yeah. Like, if you guys say it's better than in season one or two, pfft, and me, it's not even better than season three, to be honest. Like, season three, like, mm. Anyway, I've, I've, I've compared this season to season three many times, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, so yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.